Man, you can still hear it today when you listen to that. Like, I'm just like, wow, that's just that's just crazy. I remember K Force, so coming down to the Esplanade back in the days, literally the Scoop Girls. He would just, he would be like, he'd have one girl over here, and then a next tip would come, and he'd be like, yo, scam, scam. Divert, blah blah blah, X Y Z and K Force, man. Legendary. Super slick, super slick. Who is that? Who is, who is that over there? Scam, what's up, man? Haha, -ha, DJ Scam, yes. Power Reaper's back. What's going on? Let people know. <laughs> <skip, man. laughs> Let people know what's up, man. Skip, man. <laughs> this time slot one to four is magical. It's it literally for me, and a lot of people that you know that come from my area. It literally was the portal to hip hop. It was the only place you could hear hip hop, live hip hop. We literally anticipated you know the one to four slot and before i knew it i knew thrust supreme and x and i was djing and it was literally a dream come true and uh you know we are back again we tell the story like we met scam i think thrust was with me we went to interview yeah. epmd yeah and where where was it at the cd grounds the uh the agricultural building okay so <laughs> like back door. we're backstage and i just opened the back door to like go out the back door you're doing spots for ron's show yeah and your voice spots and here's scam like yo thrust. i'm like yo man i'm trying to i got have my knapsack on trying to get in, trying to get like, in. Yo, i gotta get in this because i love dj scratch epmd was performing he was crazy and i wanted to get it on the set Sound check and I saw a thrust and I'm like yo man I need to get in here I'll, blah 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 and then you came out I was like who's this guy here you don't know who that is that's DJX so I was like yo get me in this place anyways you guys got me in and I think the next week I was down at CKLN just chilling and then I met Supreme and Supreme used to come by my house church teach me to scratch and learn you know all these DJ tricks and whatnot and the rest is history. And that's how easy it was. I mean, <laughs> I mean even for me I just walked in one day I was a kid I, mean, I was still in high school, and I Literally. just felt like I had, the power move had given me so much. Like, it wasn't about being on the radio, and I was like, do you want me to just check flyers, I'll do the coffee mm -hmm. run, whatever. And X wasn't really taking me on, and it was like a bad movie where you walk in, it was completely dark in the basement, it was smoky, <laughs> but there's no chicks smoky, around. Smoky, no. Oh, smoky and no yeah, chicks? Smoky. Yeah. Impossible. Yeah. And X wasn't taking me on, and um, I think maybe two weeks later I cussed him out, and I thought, okay, that's it, I'll never be on the show, I'm never going to be able to contribute, and I cussed him out, and he just looked at me and went, my mom is You're a hired. B word. My girl is a B word. Apparently, you're one. I love you. You're in. <laughs> and that was it. Oh, and he asked me who my favorite rapper was, and I said Ice Cube. And he was like, "You're a chick. You're not supposed to. You're in." <laughs> you're in. That was Did easy. you really say Ice Cube? Easy, right? Yeah. Because you were like Ice Cube. What's what? And you know, you know, you and your West Coast. So you were like Ice Cube. You right, should be right. saying LL Cool J. Who are you? A lot of people thought I didn't like West Coast. I don't know any because of him. <laughs> <laughs> I just here though, so I'm gonna jump off, but I just wanted to say thank you to X, to Rishi, and a whole bunch of people who gave me opportunities graphics wise. Because actually, that was where I came in the game. Mixtape covers, mastermind. You got skills, cocaine, man. You got skills. And a whole bunch of other people. Samantha Jagan, Thrust. Uh, thank you. Graphic designer turned promoter. Nice. Turned photographer. Who doesn't yeah. sleep? And you see how Scam didn't know it was you? It was because you were so hip hop, but people who didn't had never seen you didn't know that you were super preppy. X used to be like Mr. Yeah, Treat. Can you be both? You can you be both? I didn't know you could be well, both. Hip hop I mean, prep? You know how we were at the time. People thought you had to dress one way, and so much so that my favorite story, or one of from the uh, Power Move, is we went to the Eden Center, and this cat was selling a tape of the show, claiming to be DJ X, and he said it was a mix, and you actually bought it. You were like, yeah, man. Was it good, good X? Was it no, 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 man. <laughs> <laughs> Frankenstein, what do you think about all this? Hey, Frank yeah. Rillo. Frank yeah. Rillo. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Man, what do I think? Man, what do I think? Man, what do I think? talking about historic things, but really the relevancy of what I'm seeing today is like this is as current as it's ever been. I mean, I, I don't even know if I can put into words. Uh, just like, just to reiterate what many people have been saying today, the influence that the power move and hip hop and CKLN as a collective over the decades um, has had on not just maybe one generation, but exponentially to people of all walks of life because it just, it's permeated to beyond hip hop. It's not just a hip hop community. I mean, we know how global it is, but I mean, Toronto is an important city in Canada. And what, what I've seen just, 
for me, you guys mentored me in the sense of my music, you know what I mean, how I developed as an individual, and then just the, the community spirit of what we were doing went beyond, you know what I mean, Word just up. the music. You know what I mean? And the friendships, I think, are going to last a lifetime. But aside from that, uh, I just got to thank you guys personally. I don't think I've ever gotten to do it as a collective, as a group, to say, you know what, thank you to the Power Move, thank you to everybody who contributes to it, and thanks to the guys that still do it. I love the one. Still, when I'm in the car, if it's a Saturday afternoon, I'm driving around the city, and I can tune in, I do just that because I know I'm going to get the real. You know. And that's, that's, <laughs> that's, that's just me. You know what I mean? Hip hop is, is infectious. I've been a fan ever since Ron was doing it, and we talked about Monster Jam when they live at the barbecues. And, man, how do you really, you know, you can't even put it into a conversation. You know what I mean? This is just me saying, that, man, I'm excited to even be, you know, on the air to just give my thanks, my appreciation to, to what it's meant to me as a person and as an individual. So thank you guys. Hey, what happened to Knowledge of Self Records, man? <laughs> where, where can I get the new single? Knowledge of Self has been using crazy good health. I mean, you guys know I still got the studio in the basement of my house. I'm still making beats like yo, I yo, always yo, have. Frank, and Frank. that's the beauty about hip hop is that you know what you can do it wherever you want, whenever you want, and um, you know you don't have to get judged on it. But yeah, I'm still doing music. You know how we roll. Yo, Frank. Yo, it's your boy Thrust. I gotta find you on the radio. It was like yesterday. Wow, Thrust. What's up, son? <laughs> Yo. Me and, me and Thrust are what, like, brothers. When we gonna put out that album we have that you got in your studio? You got so much music in your studio. I'm calling everybody. Al Capone. Al Capone. Why I got this time, I have to use it properly. DJ Al Capone, you are needed. You have the whole documented history of everything we're talking about on film. You're the only person that has it. You need to release that, because, you know, life is not here forever, son. He's you, holding on to that. He's too. holding on to that. Yes. And I'm gonna call you up. But uh, Frank, you're like the most wanted like rapper around the city. Everywhere I go, like, yo, where's your boy Frankenstein? <laughs> yo, people's asking for you, so I'm just letting you know, homie. We need you. We need you in the army, son. I've been getting the itch in a real big way, and, and of course, you know, Fluff and I have been going back to high school, and we, and we're like your brothers, we'll always be like that, and you're right, there's a ton of unreleased stuff that I got in the box that, hey, you know what, like I said, this, this show today, and it's amongst just the conversations I've been having over the last little bit, the relevancy of what, you know, we started, or what Power Move was, and is, and, you know, what the guys do every week is as relevant as ever, you know what I mean, and, and that just reminds me that, you know, Absolutely, a whole new generation of youth that haven't gotten a chance to really experience what we got to experience, we owe it to them. It's our responsibility, you know what I mean, for what we did to give a little bit back. And, and I'm going to live up to my promise with it somehow, some way, if it's small, big, or whatever. But um, I appreciate you calling me out to us because you're absolutely right. That's some of that stuff needs to come out. I, I, you're the man of the people. Remember your name, Frank Felico? Man of the people. <laughs> <laughs> Frank Felico, man of the people. I got to live up to the hype. You got to live up to your name, homie. <laughs> Nice. I gotta live up to the name, no doubt, no doubt. Frank, what was it like performing at the barbecue in, in 08? Like, wow, I coming mean... Coming back after time. Listen, I mean, you know, you gave me my first chance to grab a mic and, and you know, just like speak and spit in front of people. And, and I gotta say, that still is one of the most prominent memories I have, you know what I mean? Just like getting up there and ripping it. And, and not to mention, you know what I mean, the, the dancers, you know what I mean, Derek and Frankie and all the battles that were going on while you guys were cutting it up. I mean, for people who didn't actually get to experience it and see what you guys did for the community and the city, man, I mean, I gotta tell you, every time I used to do music, I used to try and capture that essence, those moments. And I was like, you know what, I gotta be able to make sure that what I'm doing here inspires people the way you guys inspire people when you guys used to put those live barbecues. I mean, you couldn't find the pop the way you guys were bringing it. You just couldn't find it. And that's, that's the reason why, I mean, you can hear the excitement of my voice Everybody that's speaking on the radio today, you can hear these kind of, you can't, that's not, you can't fabricate that. That's authentic. That's the sincerity of what you guys got. And, man, I, I'm just asked that, you know what I mean, that there's this enough initiative from the people, you know what I mean, that started it, that continue to do it, that we won't let it, you know, pass, pass us by. So, that, that's just me. Frankenstein, thanks a lot, man, for calling in today and being a part of this show. It's it's crazy that, you know, we're out of time. I feel like 
it's it's back in the day and you know we're halfway into into it's masala so mix and and <laughs> <laughs> starting to feel guilty and yeah. like yeah. Yeah. Them up for always being so patient with us. Always, way back. Everybody too. knows this. Today, like, we, we should ask her, like, I should really ask her right now, like, you know what? Before she just, just be real for a minute, all right? And tell us what it's like when somebody, like, takes up 20 minutes of your show every week. You know, I wish you guys could do this every week. Oh, no, come on, be real, man. Be real. I'm having flashbacks, though, I'll have to say. <laughs> you were so dope because you would start to play songs that had a kind of yeah, hip-hop feel to them. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Kind of yeah. Us out yeah. 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 I want to I want to take this second to to big up some of the ladies who were unofficial parts of part uh, power move and what we were doing. So I want to big up women, of course, uh, me and Mishy. That was an amazing friendship that this solidified and women like Kim, like Manto and Abstract Magazine, Ebony Roll, D. There were so many women who really made it a part Sarah of the talk. Most Dev, yeah. The Cardinal girls and Old the Shop Cats and girls who just wanted the music to live. So I want to big them up. Yeah. Man, I just don't want this to end. I know. Like, oh, really? can we, how do we borrow time? That's a classic one. That's a classic problem with joint. Anybody know how to make time? We need to start here. Let's borrow some time. Next, awesome. Toronto wants to know. <laughs> when's the next live at the barbecue? I mean, let's say the summer of, of 2011, man. Let's, I, I got to try and make that happen. Right, you got to hold me to that. Hold X to that. Summer of 2011. I see summer. You know that. Ramos, I need some help, man. Live at the barbecue. Yeah. Yeah. Don't front on me, man. <laughs> Don't just put your arm on my shoulder and be like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And nod your head. Like, come on. <laughs> We'll try and make that happen for this summer, man. I, I know a lot of people have been on me about, you know, kind of getting that out there and making that happen. So we definitely want to do that.